You have a two gram sample of rocket fuel and you burn it. And you notice that there's a temperature change and you also know that you have a specific heat capacity for the calorimeter. So you know you can relate this with Q, which is our heat of combustion, time equals our, our heat capacity times the temperature change. And then you wanna change from joules to kilojoules. So we wanna multiply by one kilojoule over our 1000 joules. And then you want to end moles. So you want to multiply by one over the moles of hydrazine that you have. So we can do all of this except for the moles part because you have to figure out how many moles we have. So to do that, we have to do two grams, right? 2.000 grams of our hydrazine divided by 32.045 grams per mole which is the molar mass of that. And that gives you 0 0.0625. So that's how many moles of hydrazine we have. So now we can actually do our calculations. So we have Q of the calorimeter is equal to the specific heat, which is 6850, times the temperature change, which is the final here, minus the initial, that gives us 6.06, .06, times one over 1,000, which is kilojoules per joule, and then times one over the moles of hydrazine that we have, which is 0 0.0625 moles, right? So this will give us an answer of 664 kilojoules per mole. Now, this is the heat of combustion for a calorimeter, right? Now, the heat of combustion for our calorimeter is equal to negative the heat of combustion for hydrazine because hydrazine, if this is exothermic, this is going to be endothermic. And if this is an exothermic, this is going to be endothermic. So it's the opposite because one is losing the energy and the other is gaining it. So in fact, the final answer for the heat of combustion for hydrazine, which is what we're trying to find, is equal to negative 664 kilojoules per mole.